بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Have you ever heard a scientist say that the earth is immovable? Does science teach us that? No, it doesn't. Then why does Brahman the Purana say that the earth is immovable? Quote, the earth overwhelmed by the ocean began to quake, though its name is immovable. There was a break and hindrance in the penance and abstract meditation of the ascetics. Mahabharat states, Bhishma said, of all kinds of gift, the gift of earth has been said to be the first in point of merit. Earth is immovable and indestructible. Mahabharat also states, Behold, O Krishna, these, the firmament and the earth, which are immovable, immense and infinite, and which are the refuge of and in which are born these countless creatures. Hindu scriptures also teaches that the sun revolves around the earth. Mentioned in the Purana, every day the sun traverses those zones in due order, just as the outer rim of the potter's wheel comes back quickly that is revolves so also the sun functions quickly during his southern transit hence he traverses a major portion of the earth in the course of a shorter period brahman the purana also states thus the sun traverses the quarters by means of his swift chariot with one wheel the horses are splendid but they do not have the usual place in the course of a day and night the sun traverses the earth consisting of the seven continents and oceans by means of his chariots with a single wheel. It is stated in Matsya Purana that the sun in course of one single day and night goes swiftly over the world consisting of the seven oceans and the seven islands. Seating in his one wheeled chariot and drawn by seven horses, the seven horses yoked to the sun's chariot are no other than the seven chandas meters. They can assume forms at their wills, they go as they like. Ascending on such a chariot, the sun travels the earth in course of one day. 24 hours. The horses were yoked at the beginning of Kalpa and carry on the sun toll at the night at the end of great dissolution. Thus he goes round and round, day and night, surrounded by Valakhliya Munis. Matsya Purana states, the sun moves lowest down of all the planets, above him the moon travels, the stars travel about, above the moon, above moon travels Mercury, above Mercury travels Venus, above Venus travels Mars, above Mars travels Jupiter, above Jupiter travels Saturn. Vayu Purana states, thus the sun moves ahead quickly in a celestial sphere by means of a single wheel chariot dragged by the unimpaired gentle horses. In the course of a day and night, he traverses over the world of seven continents and oceans by means of a single wheel chariot dragged by the seven horses. Vayu Purana states, Within a short time, therefore, the sun traverses the extensive earth within 12 muhurtas. It traverses quickly from south to the north. Srimad Bhagavatam states that the sun god who is Narayana or Vishnu, the soul of all the worlds, is situated in outer space between the upper and lower portions of the universe, passing through the 12 months on the wheel of time. The sun comes in touch with 12 different signs of the zodiac. There are so many verses to prove that the sun revolves around the earth that I cannot quote them all in this video. But other than that, I would like you to imagine seven horses pulling a large chariot and in that chariot is sun. And the sun revolves around the earth in that chariot. Yes, you heard it correct. It is mentioned in Rig Veda and also quoted before in the previous verses that O oh bright sun, a chariot named Harit with seven horses take you to the sky. Mahabharat states that the sun possessed of a thousand rays, he it is that constitutes the wheel of the year, having three knaves and seven horses to drag it, he is the sun, the dispeller of all darkness. It is explained in more detail in Sriman Bhagavatam, thus the chariots of the sun god are worshipped by the words Om, Burbhuv, Swaha, travels through the four residences. My dear king, the carriage of the sun's god chariot is estimated to be 3,600,000 yojanas and one-fourth as wide. The chariot's horses, which are named after Gayatri and other Vedic meters, are harnessed by Arundeva. 
to a yoke that is also 900,000 yojanas wide. This chariot continuously carries the sun god, although Arundeva sits in the front of the sun god and is engaged in driving the chariot and controlling the horses, he looks backwards towards the sun. And my dear god, in his orbit, through Bhumandala, meaning the earth, the sun god traverses a distance of 95 million yojanas at the speed of 2000 yojanas and 2 krosas in a moment, that is 16,004 miles. Ramanda Purana states, the lord of the day, that is the sun, that thus revolves and wanders by means of forces that gallop and that are as swift as birds. It's possibly inspired by Trundholm, sun chariot commonly found in the European mythologies. Some apologists try to defend this by saying that the seven horses mentioned here are not actually horses but seven rays. In many Hindu scriptures, the sun is described as of having a thousand rays, not seven rays, and one of the Puranas on the Mahabharata explains seven horses as seven rays. So this proves that it's apologists concocted explanation which has no basis. If seven horses are described as seven rays, then does that mean the moon too emits ten rays as Hindu scriptures describe moon moving in a chariot pulled by ten horses? Ramanda Purana states he is served by Gandharvas and groups of celestial damsels by means of songs and dances. The lord of the day that is the sun thus revolves and wanders by the means of horses that gallop and that are as swift as birds. The chariots of Soma, meaning the moon, has three wheels. His horse have the luster of Kanda, uh, meaning white jasmine flowers. They are ten in number and they are yoked to the left as well as to the right. The moon traverses by means of this. Now which scientific theory of scientific law teaches you that the moon is bigger in size than the sun? Mentioned in Brahmanda Purana states, in diameter as well as get, meaning circumference, the moon is twice as much as the sun. Vayu Purana states that the diameter of the sun is 9000 yojanas, the gaze of the sun is three times its diameter, the width of the moon is twice that of the sun. Matsya Purana states that the diameter of the sun is 9000 yojanas and its circumference is three times that. The diameter of the moon is twice the diameter of the sun and its circumference is thrice its diameter. Tune in for part 3. Until then, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullah.